Hey world, Ron Motter here. At the end of 2012, it's a good time to figure out how to make events more engaging. And this is your five minute review. Question, what do we actually expect from events? Conversations, decisions, engaging speakers, <clears throat> excursions, networking, local shopping, recharging stations, public display tables, message boards, electronic message boards. Well, my point is all events can be more eco, more open, more inclusive, and more fun. It's all a matter of connecting worlds. We'd like to see more free Wi-Fi. We'd like to see events with Twitter hashtags, with Facebook event pages, with directories of participants and presentations on SlideShare as well as the gamut of social web, including Flickr and Pinterest albums. There is a natural connection between the natural world and the virtual world. And old school, which became new school, is now transforming to what's next, which frankly looks a lot like old school. Here are two events from 2012 that I had the privilege of participating. One was in March, uh, a eco-friendly kite contest in Teotitlande Valle in which, yes, we created the event page on Facebook, and yes, we did stuff on the ground. Or this week in Oaxaca, the, the Living Tree Forum in Mexico that also used Flickr, excuse me, used Flickr, Facebook, and Twitter. Contention here is that all events in the future will have live streaming. What do we like about live? It brings things into real time. For example, watching Curiosity's landing. Live streaming is used quite frequently for sports. Hey, the Guerreros of Oaxaca are on Ustream. But then the volunteering conference was live from Responsible Travel Week 2012, as well as the Cape Town um, General, Assembly, uh, General Assembly meeting. We also saw quite a bit of World Travel Market live. Leo Hickman was on the hot seat last year. And broadcasting live from India, we had the COP11. This is all live in real time. We're also seeing educational seminars, for example, the Open Access Week, because, as Cable Green would say, the opposite of open isn't closed. The opposite of open is broken. As Martin Hatchell points out, in tourism, we'd like to see a conversion of information offices into conversation spaces. How do we do that? We need to rehearse and we need to respond to others who are asking questions and sharing stories. Now, <clears throat> my contention, of course, is that in the land of storytelling and control, well, you cannot control the story of your event. You can monitor how stories are told, and you can influence how stories are told. You can even manipulate how stories are told. But all of this requires a major reboot, and that requires digital literacy three final events to kind of take a look at. One, an amazing benchmark event in New Zealand, NetWe, Shaping Our Future Together, a conference that is held uh, now twice a year, or at least in, in New Zealand, and this year it was held in Auckland and Dunedin. They had their conference page. They also had face-to-face -face meetings. They had live streaming video, and they had uh, quite a bit of Google Docs being used for collaborative editing. This example was when people were transcribing the presentation with 40 people editing in real time. Another event takes place downtown in Las Vegas, first Friday Las Vegas. Uh, an amazing event, a, fe a, a festival that is really remarkable in the United States. Final event I'd like to point attention to from this year was the Global Workshop for Indigenous and Local Communities, something that was held during COP11 that I had the privilege of directing a workshop. None of this comes easily to folks. We have to figure out how to connect the physical and virtual worlds. Finally, three invitations. Uh, in 2013, we're holding Responsible Travel Week again. That's February 11th to the 17th. For those of you who want to enjoy sharing and generosity and recipro reciprocity, Gala Getza is the place to be. Uh, the festival's in Oaxaca in July 2013. And please, let's see if we can figure out how to organize a Las Vegas photo safari. This is Ron Motter, and the presentation is online. Thank you.